Hi everyone. In this example, I want to show you how to calculate the salary percentile. We are going to use two functions, medium and percentile. As to why is it so important? Averages are used very frequently, but they are probably not the best measure in a lot of cases. An example would be the CTC. CTCs typically are very top heavy. What that means is that the top 1% of an organization get paid a lot. So if you look at the CXOs, they get paid a massive multiple compared to all the other people in the organization. And that skews the result because averages are going to be impacted by these uh, extreme values. That's why a median makes much more sense. So what we have here is a list of employees, we have 1,470 employees and we have their monthly income. To find the median is very straightforward. We simply write median and it tells me the center most value after sorting the data. Let me explain that. For example, if we have one, three, five, seven and 13 and I apply a median here, we are going to get a five because there are five values. So the value that comes in the center after sorting the data, either ascending or descending is five. Now, in this case, if you notice, it is not impacted by that extreme value. Even if this was 56, the median doesn't really change. On the other hand, if you were working with, let's say the average that would have been impacted massively by that one extreme value. So we have the median here. Another way to calculate the median would be, let me first write the formula here, would be to do a percentile. And we can simply say 0.5. You notice we get exactly the same result. When we say 50th percentile, what we are getting is nothing but the median. For that matter, even if you do a quartile and you say that you're looking at the second, which is the median value, which is also the 50th percentile, you get the same result. Now let's look at why um, this is very handy. As an organization, if you are trying to come up with an incentive plan, you want to keep in mind the median value. So for example, if you want to incentivize people who are getting paid in a certain bracket, you don't want to give people who are already getting paid a lot as a percentage increase. For example, somebody who's already in the top one percentile, you don't want to give them a 25% increase because that's going to be a massive value. So maybe for the top 1%, you want to give them a fixed increase, not a percentage increase. On the other hand, if you want to do a salary correction for people who are not getting paid well, as per, let's say, the compa ratio, and you want to do a salary correction, in that case, you might want to do a percentage increase. So there are a lot of cases where the median might come into play. Now, let's say we want to know out of these, out of all these people that we have, who are the ones who are coming in a certain percentile. For example, if I want to look at the 90th percentile, so I'm just putting a 90th percentile here. What we want to do is to say equal to percentile and we simply want to select 90. So what that does is it tells me 13820. So what that means is that if I sort my data and I look at the top 10%, the top 10% will be more than 13,820. Now this is very handy because if you're trying to hire somebody and you want to tell the new recruit that we want to place you in the top 1% in the organization, you know you want to give them at least 13,820. So when you're looking at salary negotiation, when you're looking at a salary correction, maybe a hiring, maybe a job transfer, this can be an excellent metric to look at.